It says that it has 12 hours of battery life. I don't believe it. All right, today we're looking at the UL30A, and this is the A2 configuration from ASUS. Unbelievable claims on the box. They claim 12 hours of battery life, and you know what? It's pretty close. I couldn't get 12, but with regular use, 10, 11 hours is a possibility if you are uh, not taxing the processor and the memory and everything all the time. If you dim the screen down, you will get over 10 hours to this battery. It's incredible, and you know how they do it? Eight cell battery, okay, first of all, 5,600 uh, milliamp hour battery, so it's, it's literally as long as the entire laptop. It's big and it's heavy. Uh, it also uses DDR3 memory, which uses less voltage, and has an LED-backed LCD screen that also saves uh, some power. I can only imagine what would happen if you threw a uh, SSD in here to make it even take less power. It'd probably even give you another hour of battery. Uh, so very, very impressive laptop. Now, this is really cool. This is pretty much where I'd like to see laptops going in the next few years. This is an ultra light, ultra thin. Uh, it has a huge battery, has a great display, and uh, the form factor is fantastic. Now, if you're looking at this thing, it's literally less than an inch thick. It's actually 0.89 inches thick. So a year ago, two years ago, that was unheard of. Uh, it was basically like, you know, that, that doesn't really work. Uh, now it's fairly common and the price is not even that expensive. Now, this is not a super powerful laptop. It does use an ultra vol low voltage Intel processor, but I think I actually prefer that. You know, I want to do my, my hard work at home on my desktop, uh, and if I want something that's really light and thin to carry with me, it doesn't need to be that powerful. Stuff like this, surfing the web, uh, doing reports, Word, PowerPoint presentations, uh, maybe doing light Photoshop work, uploading and editing photos, taking them off the camera so you have more, you know, clear your CF cards or your SD cards or whatnot. That's what this is created for, and it's created for portability because, uh, it, again, it's very light and you don't need to take your battery charger. You have 10 hours. So very, very impressive uh, little laptop. I really, really like this. Now let's talk a little bit about the specs that come with this and what you get starting off with uh, the display. This is a 13.3-inch LED-backed LCD screen. It does 1366 by 768 native resolution. That means it will do 1280 by 720. 20p HD video. Uh, now, the way it does that is with a GMA 4500 uh, MHD chipset, which means that it does have uh, an HDMI port right here. That means you can output 1080p video uh, to a big screen if you so desire. Uh, now, remember the LED backed LCD, that's what helps it save power. It also makes it look uh, very, very nice, very sharp image, uh, lots of contrast ratio, and again, it's a 16 by 9 format. So if you're playing a movie, it's going to do the entire screen like a television would, uh, not give you letter boxes like a 16 by 10 computer display. So that's a really good advantage. Now, uh, the processor on here is the SU7300. Now, the SU7300 is a Core 2 Duo, uh, but it is an ultra low voltage. So basically, they just underclocked a Core 2 Duo way, way down into 1.3 gigahertz, uh, but it is still very, very fast because it has six megabytes of L2 cache, uh, and it also has an 800 megahertz front side bus. Uh, four gigabytes of DDR3 are also there to complement uh, that pretty decently quick processor that does not waste a lot of electricity. It's a very good uh, middle ground. It, it's pretty quick, but it's a 1.3. It's a little bit slow. It's, it's right in the middle. It's really cool. Uh, very high-end new technology, uh, and it's very useful on a laptop that's so light, so portable, and gives you, you know, 12 hours of battery life. It's incredible. Uh, now, on top of what we've already mentioned, you do have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, which is just an epic amount of storage uh, for such a small and light notebook. You do have 500 gigs. It's a 5400 RPM SATA drive. Uh, you also have more. There is more, yes. Uh, you do have Pretty much all types of connectivity. You have a 1100 Ethernet port. You have NDRAFT uh, wireless, which is going to be obvious. Uh, it is missing Bluetooth. That is one thing I did notice. It does not have Bluetooth. Keep that in mind. But uh, a $20 Bluetooth micro dongle is going to go right into a USB port, and you're not going to have any problems if, for whatever reason, you do want to use uh, Bluetooth 2.0. Now, let's give you a quick tour uh, around here. I want to show you where everything is. First thing you'll notice, there's a glossy front display. It does have a 1.3 megapixel webcam at the top, and it is the chiclet style uh, keyboard that you'll notice. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that it is a one of those trackpads. It doesn't really have an edge, uh, but what ASUS did is that they actually put little holes into the trackpad so that you know 
when you go off edge. Uh, so you know exactly where the trackpad is and if you're looking at the screen, you're not going to go off of it. Another thing that's important about the trackpad is it is one button, uh, but of course there is two buttons there and it does work as a dual button system. Uh, and also my favorite part is that it does do multi-gesture, uh, multi-touch on the trackpad. So you can pinch to zoom, you can do two finger scrolling, you can swipe, you can do all sorts of gestures uh, and that's very, very cool. One of my favorite things uh, about the new laptops that are coming out, especially these like ultra mobile ones, is that multi-gesture trackpad. Very, very cool. Now, uh, another thing, very, very nice brushed aluminum back. So I don't know if you can see that angle there. Uh, it is very much a real brushed aluminum back, so it's really not going to get too many fingerprints. And it's dull to begin with, so if you get a fingerprint, you're not going to see it that much. So uh, very nice. Also helps keep it nice and protected. Uh, you can also see right there while we hear that massive battery I was telling you about. It doesn't stick out. It doesn't protrude. It's not an extended battery, but it is an 8-cell battery, and it is pretty big, as you can see. Uh, and that's how you get that incredible battery life. Now, let's take a little tour on the sides. I'm going to show you starting over here from the left side. Uh, you do have a fan louver right here. You have a 15-pin D-sub. Uh, uh, VGA port right there. Uh, HDMI, this will do multi-channel audio and 1080p out uh, to your uh, big TV. You have a USB 2.0 port right there. And then when you come around uh, to this side, to the right side, you have a multi-card reader. Uh, so basically your XDs and your SDs and all those uh, MMS pros and everything like that. Uh, you have input and output for your headset and your microphones, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. You have two USB 2.0 ports and then you have your 10100 Ethernet port and your power. And that's basically it as far as the outside of this thing goes. Uh, there are a couple more things I would like to mention to you. Uh, first, let's talk a little bit about operating system. This does come with Windows uh, 7 Home Premium, but it has a secondary operating system, and that would be the Splash Top or ExpressGate system. Basically, it's a very small Linux distro, and it loads without loading Windows. You basically just press this little button over here on the far left of the laptop, and within five seconds, you will be on a Linux desktop that lets you do Skype, chat, look at pictures, uh, surf the web, connect to the internet, et cetera, et cetera, without actually having to turn on Windows. Uh, and it boots up, again, in five seconds versus 30 to 40 seconds for Windows 7 to boot up. Uh, it's going to be really nice if you just want to get on the web real quick, check something out, get directions, or make a Skype phone call, and then get out. You're done. So that's uh, very, very useful as far as the Asus design goes. And that's basically it. There you have it. It's the uh, Asus UL30A. Uh, I'm pretty much in love with laptops like this. I hope they keep making laptops that are like this that have huge batteries, ultra low voltage processors that are definitely much, much faster than uh, the, the single core atoms. These dual core ultra low voltages are really nice. I hope they keep coming out. Four gigs of DDR3, big hard drives, nice HD screens with the ability to do 1080p out in HDMI. Uh, I mean, honestly, add an SSD in here and I'm in love. I mean, that's basically all, all I would want. And again, it's only one inch, so very, very nice setup. Uh, the UL30A and it's the A2 configuration. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time. For some more information on this ASUS laptop, go to com.puter.tv and type in ASUS UL30A. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.